I was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2011. I hid in a shadow with my condition for seven years before I was introduced to the MS Parkinson's people in Christchurch and I was horrified at what I found. The premises they were in were dreadful. It was not a place I'd be attracted to. People with these neurological conditions like dementia, Parkinson's and so on were pretty much in the back room. I went to the States in 2012 to see a specialist. He told me there was no magic cure. One in two women and one in three men in their lifetime are going to be affected by a neurological condition. They also said 50% of the symptoms can be alleviated by lifestyle changes. And that was a revelation to me. That was almost unheard of to think that lifestyle changes could make such a difference to living with the condition. But that's what Braintree was to introduce an environment where people want to come. They're going to be encouraged to adopt lifestyle changes and it's a support network for the carers as well, the spouses and family members, because it's a great place for them to come and learn about what the, the challenges and how to live with the condition. So what Braintree does is it actually welcomes those people to come into a front room where they can actually feel valued and feel part of a community and, and feel comfortable and feel welcome. Most people when they come to Braintree they go, wow, and that's kind of the experience that we want people to um, to feel and, and receive. It's a wellness centre for brain health and it's the first of its kind in New Zealand, if not Australasia. It's really an opportunity to provide a collective centre for a whole lot of different organisations to be able to provide services and opportunities for the community that we serve. I got EMS when I was 70. I started at the gym when I was 70. I hate going to the gym, never liked it. Never went on 70, but I still come for the benefit of being able to be mobile. But if you don't do it, you lose it. Rosaline's been uh, living with uh, Parkinson's disease for nearly 20 years. Exercise is vitally important to keep the movements going, plus the, the social aspect. I spend a, an hour there every Thursday morning while Rosaline's in here doing her exercises. So we, we couldn't be here today without huge local support from many different organisations, local community grants and sponsors and donors. And more recently we're engaging with organisations like TDX who are wanting to help locals and we are just hugely grateful and appreciative. In any community, that theme of locals helping locals is, is vital. There is probably nothing more important than uh, particularly local organisations, local businesses, getting involved in this sort of thing. In this case, it's been very successful. My name's Don, and I'm a friend of the Brains Tree. Um, my name's Robin, um, I'm a friend of the Brain Tree. My name is Phil Marshall Lee, I'm the manager at Brain Tree, and I'm a friend of Brain Tree. My name's Simon, and I'm a director and friend of the Brain Tree Wellness Centre. My name is Colm Hamrug, I'm the CEO of TDX and we are all friends of Braintree. Locals Helping Locals is about giving back. The Braintree is a prime example of locals helping locals and that's why TDX is proud to partner with this world-class facility. Throughout the month of April please visit the TDX website where we have an online auction going with some wonderful items that'll be auctioned to raise funds for the Brain Tree. And I just want to particularly thank our partners and suppliers for all their generosity in donating all of these auction items and making this event possible. I'm very proud to lead TDX and I'm even more proud to partner with the Brain Tree because this is locals helping locals.